Hello everyone, the famous also go watching here. Today, I'm going to make this video because there was a question that many people asked, and that is, what is Nebulon Quasar in most terms? So, with further ado, here's the answer. In further explanations, Nebulon Quasar is defined as an analog horror series that was based on the honest video game of the same name, Nebulon Quasar, that used to exist even before and after the year 2002. And what I do also know is that since there is lots of media about it, I'll explain to you the gameplay of this as possible. So, how does it work? The game starts when you control two characters, which is Nebula, the female space cop, and Quasar, the male space cop, that work together as a duo and stop an intergalactic empire from taking over you know, a, an energy source, what's known as the replacement sun, from its control. It's also powered by the common city of the federal government that governs common city with its 200 dual decilion people and 79 million buildings and skyscrapers as a result. If levels are complete, along with the zones in them, you will collect what's known as batteries that are used to power the replacement sun. However, magmanite is also another substance used to power them, which also indicates that when used on the sun for the galaxy as far away in the year 3002, this will indicate that the sun will be powered up to 5 billion years or even induced up to 54 billion years, which is the max. So that is the answer for this one. Now, another question would be, if Thomas Niner did alter the copies, how did he do them? And, and how did the recall happen as a result? So allow me to explain. So... During that time, when the game was being developed, many attempts were made to make the game more epic and, and completely supreme with many of the features that would, in fact, appease the player based on the use of gameplay and programs, as well as algorithm and, and, and game content. However, what Tom Snyder did was that, that thinking that, the thinking that he's better than everyone else, that's what, what, what people would often say, he changed most of the elements, such as changing the vehicle from a UFO to a flying space jet. And also redesigned signed most of the elements in the game. However, to make it even worse, he added most of the things that were not appeasing to players, such as the use, usage of an anarchy holy image that many people would not, would not find appeasing with it being made most likely in secret or creating scenes that feature the duo engaged in the most suspicious activities they would be seen as shocking, horrifying, or even alarming to certain viewers. As a result, the game was recalled, and the Thomas Snyder disappeared allegedly as a result. And this meant that Thomas Snyder was the one to blame for the incident as a result. So, with further ado, that explains the entire history of the analog series. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and and watch more of my other videos. More content will be coming soon, even after this school year. The famous Austin Galatin, out.